played a really good Michigan team today. Um, you know, we to, to have a chance to, uh, to to beat them. You know, we got to play better than what we played today. Uh, we had our opportunities. You know, obviously it's it's uh, you know disconcerting that they shot 53 percent from the field. Uh, but I look at it, and one of the things we wanted to do is try to guard the three-point line. I thought we did a good job of that. Um, they made five out of 15. Um, the second thing we talked about was taking care of the ball. And ironically, when we cut it to, I think it was a two-possession game there and maybe three, two different times late, we had a couple live ball turnovers that led to breakouts that you can't guard or defend. You can't guard one-on-nothing layups. Um, and, and that pushed it back up to three to four possessions instead of two to three. That happened two different times. I thought those were two critical moments in the game uh, where, where maybe we had a chance. You know, the crowd was getting into the game. We were fighting. I did think our guys fought. Uh, I do. I thought they, they, they fought. Um, I thought we practiced well coming into the game. I uh, thought we practiced really well. Um, I thought they uh, executed the game plan well, especially for about the first 30 minutes. We got out of kilter a little bit when we got behind, started pressing a little bit and gambling and trying some different things to create some more possessions. But, you know, overall, I thought our effort was pretty good. Um, you know, obviously we'll watch the film. Um, you know, biggest thing that, that we've got to do is understand that when things aren't going well for us on the offensive end, you cannot tie your mindset mentally uh, to that, especially on the defensive end. Um, I thought we did that a little bit. we got to get a little bit tougher mentally. Um, you know, we'll take a look at the film and address some of those things. Uh, tomorrow we'll take the day off. I thought the guys played hard, get their bodies back, practice two more days. Uh, heading into the game at Michigan State uh, and just keep trying to get a little bit better uh, every day. That's how we've approached it. That's not going to change. Uh, we're going to keep doing that. Um, give Michigan a lot of credit. You know, they executed well. You know, they're the number one offensive efficiency team in the country, and you break down or you you just make one mistake, whether it's how you guard a wide pin down or you're not level with the screen or they, they exploit it like that. They got a lot of weapons out there. Um, having said that, I did think there was quite a few things that we could have controlled that we didn't. Um, you know, we, we've got to make a few more shots. I mean, our guys know that. They're aware of that. I thought our quality of shot was really good, really good. I thought we had some great looks. thought we got some things that we wanted to get in preparation for the game, and we just missed a couple of them. Uh, but, again, I'm more concerned with, you know, how we defend – uh, when things aren't going well or are going well on the offensive end. we got to be a little bit more unconditional at that end of the floor. We'll take questions for DJ and Nana before we continue with Coach. DJ, talk about staying with it. Coach just mentioned the, the, the resolve you guys are showing when shots aren't falling. How do you stay at it when you aren't getting the results you want as far as ball going in the basket? Um, we just have to be mature. You know, um, just do, do all the other things. You know, we can't let that affect us on the other end of the court. And, um, you know, there's a, lot, there's a lot of guys that play a lot of games, a lot of minutes for us. So, you know, we should be used to it and, you know, we have to worry about making the next play. They had a little stretch here at the end of the first half. They stretched it out. How much did that hurt to DJ? you think they were able to get up to eight at half? Um, well, it's a 40 minute game. You know, at the same time, we, you know, we, get, we spot them a couple of points starting the second half. Uh, we made some bonehead plays, but, you know, we try to, try to do whatever we can to make a run. But, you know, like Coach said, we broke down a few times on defense, and um, they exposed us a couple of times. And uh, do, you, do you get the feeling that Coach Beeline just mentioned to us that it's just a matter of time that shots are going to fall? Do you guys feel that way, it, encouraged that, you know, what you're doing is going to get you some results? Yeah, um, we have some great shooters on our team, and uh, you know, one thing with shooters, you know, uh, you just gotta keep, yeah, keep shooting the ball. You can't get, you can't get down yourself. Uh, you have to have confidence, and it's eventually gonna go knock down. It's all about what we do on the defensive end. You know, that's the one consistent thing we gotta keep doing. And uh, you know, when we play well defensively, we we often you know tend to have runouts, a better transition, and we have more opportunities to on offense. So, uh, you know, it's uh, all about defensive end. We got, got to stay focused on that. We gave them, I think we played well at times, but we just gave them, there's just too good of an offensive team to give them that many opportunities to, to score. So we kind of, you know, you know, kind of suffered that way. But uh, overall, I just think going to, a for, going to the future, it's just all about, you know, focus on defensive end. Because, yeah, we have great shooters. They're basically going to fall. TJ, uh, coach is talking about some of the turnovers that, Kind of unforced. Um, what, what, why do you think those are happening? Some of the passes that are kind of sailing. 
Um, you know, guys just trying to make plays. You know, um, you know, can't always hit the home run. You know, we got to count on other guys to make plays as well. Um, some plays we just kind of force. We got to rely on other guys to make plays as well. Um, that's basically it. Talks a lot about getting better every day, and you guys took a big step at Nebraska. Do you still feel like, even though uh, the result wasn't there today, that you guys are still making those right those steps? Um, it comes from get, in practice. You get better in practice. You know, we had you know a few days to get better after Nebraska. I think we got. Um, you know, I think we got better. Uh, we did a good job of preparing for tonight, but um, you know they they executed better than us tonight, and it was a better team. Yeah, you wound up uh, on Burke quite a bit. So what were you trying to do when you were one on one with them uh, when you were guarding them? Uh, just trying to stay in front of them, you know, trying to force them to uh, take tough twos, tough shots. Um, so that's just that was just game plan. Just you know, uh, you know, don't let him get by you. Kind of try and contain him because when when he when he tries to get by, he not only does he have the ability to score, he has the ability to dish out to his teammates who are who are also great players. So the main thing was just to contain him, to keep him in front. DJ, you're going into a, you're in a, a run of five games where the, the opponent might be all ranked. How, how do you guys handle that and? Keep from getting overwhelmed by that. You know, we're gonna prepare for every team the same way. <clears throat> you know, um, it's, a, it's a good lead. We know that. We knew that coming in. You know, it's the start of a Big Ten season. Um, and we're gonna prepare the same way, and you know, keep our chins up, get better in practice, get prepared for Michigan State. Anything else for the players? Okay, we'll let them go. We'll continue here with questions for Coach. I do. Yeah, I thought I think we're getting better. You know, I do think we're getting better. I thought we practiced really well. Three had th three really, really, really good practices. Um, I thought our mind and heart was in the right place today. You know, I thought we did a pretty good job on Burke. I thought we rebounded it pretty well. Um, you know, we were switching some things. Uh, guys competed in that regard. I thought the live ball turnovers, as I mentioned, Marcus late when we tried to make a little bit of a run hurt us. And then you know, Herb kind of said it. I mean, <laughs> you got to throw a couple in. I mean, you know, we're in here all diagnosing this and that and looking at the stat sheet. I mean, we had some good looks t today. We did. We did. I thought we executed really well for the first 30 minutes, and we got what we wanted, and we didn't make, we didn't make enough of them. They did. That's where they deserve credit. I mean, they shot 53% from the field, and when you make a mistake defensively, they made you pay, and they scored. You know, we, we put them in some situations where I thought we had an advantage and we just we didn't convert nearly enough of them. Um, and I think we can. We're capable. We know that. We've seen that. Uh, but again, as Nana said, I'm more concerned with what you can control. You know, we missed a couple layups. You know, y you can't do that against a team like Michigan, as good as they are. You can't miss layups, uh, have live ball turnovers where you get sloppy and it leads to you know, breakouts on one on nothing and two on ones. Those are the things we got to control and, and minimize. And I thought when we didn't, that's when the game kind of got away from us a little bit at the end. On that note, Tyler had some good looks. How concerning is the run that he's in? Well, I mean, obviously, I thought he had good looks. I thought Paul had some good looks. I thought Richardson had some good looks. I thought Abrams had some good looks. I mean, I thought we had some good looks. You know, it's not just Tyler, you know. Um, Tyler works really hard, you know, works extra all the time. You know, it's a, it, he's just got to stay with it. You know, that's his job. That's what he does. And, you know, he had some good looks tonight, and they didn't go in. John, Sam McLaurin had a, probably his best game since he's been here as an Atlanta. Talk a little about his physical. Uh, well, his I will say this, and I'm certainly I, I love Sam, but I, I think my gut tells me when we watch this film, Sam will be a little disappointed, not from the standpoint of the stat sheet. You look at the stat sheet, and you can say in some areas he had his best game. But I, I thought Sam, I, I really have a high regard for Sam's intelligence and ability to execute our defense, and I thought tonight – I think we'll look at the film, and, and he wasn't on his P's and Q's like normal. Um, and certainly I'm not saying it's him why they shot 53%, but, you know, he fell for a shot fake. I mean, you know, he, he, uh, he didn't jump to the ball on a back screen that led to a layup. And you can say, well, some other guys did, but Sam's usually very exceptional with those things, exceptional 
like lights out defender. And today he just made some made some mis- mistakes on some execution stuff defensively that I'm sure he'd like to have back because I know Sam holds himself to the same high standard that we do. Um, having said that, five offensive rebounds shows his activity on the glass. I did think he played hard and competed. Um, I thought he did some good things. Uh, we threw the ball into him a couple more times, and he converted down there. Those are all good, but we 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 got to have him. He's our, you know, I, I like to call him our 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 Kevin Garnett on defense, where he's communicating, he sees everything, he covers things up, and I just I, I didn't think he had it uh, there there uh, tonight. From a stat sheet perspective, though, you know. Other than the four turnovers, um, you know, he did some good things. How good is this Michigan team? I think they're really good, you know, obviously. I mean, they're really good. They got a lot of weapons. Um, you know, and, and Burke, you know, we, we tried to make him earn it tonight. I thought we did a pretty good job of that. But some other guys hurt us. You know, Stauskas was terrific. Um, you know, Glenn Robinson made plays. You know, I mean, I, I thought they had a lot. They got a lot of weapons out there, Marcus. Talk about mentally compartmentalizing this stretch you have coming up, but how do you approach that? With the, how tough is that when you know they might look at the schedule and just see ranked team after ranked team? You know, I don't know, Shane. I, I think part of it is they like that. I mean, today they were, you know, I could tell a shoot around, they were excited, man. They, we came out that way. I thought we came out. Uh, just as strong as we did to start the Nebraska game today. I thought we were really locked in and really ready to play and had great energy. And our guys like challenges, you know. I mean, we've played, you know, a lot of good teams. And, you know, so I, I think they like that, to be honest with you. They love challenges. Um, we've got some challenges coming up in our league every night. You know, it's one of those deals where it just is what it is. They know that. It's part of the reason you come to Illinois. And, um, you know, our next one's Michigan State. John Joseph Bertrand doesn't seem as assertive maybe as he was early in the year. Just what's kind of going on with him? Um, I thought he was okay today. You know, I I, I thought, um, you know, he played whatever he played, 19 minutes. He was two for four from the field. I thought I thought he was okay. Um, I, I don't know if I necessarily agree. Uh, I'm not trying to, but I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. I thought he was. I thought he was okay. I thought he was pretty aggressive. I thought he was locked in. I thought he defended pretty well. I thought he defended really well Tuesday night in the Nebraska game. I think he's making some strides there. Um, obviously, he didn't get as many field goal attempts tonight, Jeremy. You know, as many there. But, you know, we'll take a look at it. I thought we shared the ball pretty well in the first half. I thought we really moved it. We made the extra pass, and then we just didn't convert some of them. But, you know, we'll, we'll take a look at it because I do think Joe being aggressive is important. And, you know, he's, he's a big part of our team. What about the this? Defensive switches. Um, a lot of the times, you had a guard on one of their big men. It was that. Were you looking? Were there too many switches going on? No, no. I thought it was good. I guys did a good job there. You know, I thought it really uh, was. I thought it, it, it was good. You know, the rebounding ended up being actually we ended up having we out rebounded them. Um, so that was my big concern with doing it, and that worked out okay. And you know, I think. You know, I thought our bigs did a really good job of guarding, guarding Burke. I didn't think we were physical enough on some blockouts early where there were mismatch blockout situations where guards were matched up on bigs and they had to keep them off the glass. I thought that happened to us a couple times. We just got to be a little bit more physical there uh, and do a better job on those. Yes, Coach. Uh, Coach, you know, Thanks, guys. Yeah.